Oliver Junteman acaba de aterrizar en Madrid y es que esta noche nos va a presentar en el Litius Live que se va a celebrar en la Sala Estela su nuevo álbum que es una maravilla, Propaganda. ¿Qué tal? How are you doing, Oliver? Hi, I'm very good. Welcome to Madrid. Thank you very much. Well, tell me how's everything? What have you been doing lately? Tell me. Yeah, at the moment everything is fine for me, so I cannot complain. My new album is uh -huh. out just in a couple of days. Uh, the track's doing well. Um, I'm super satisfied because it took me very long to finish it this time. So the last album was six years ago, and now Propaganda is finally out. The label is doing well. I'm touring the world. Um, <laughs> yeah, now I'm in Madrid. The weather is fine. Satisfied with life, which is not easy nowadays. There it is. Tell me about propaganda. It took you three years, I think, to finish it. Uh, about uh, yeah, between two and three years uh, from the very first beginning. Yes, uh, this time I don't know. So with all the travels, it was not so easy to find the time okay. in the studio and my yes, my my my, my piece to come down. And uh, I knew where I wanted to go, and I knew it's not going to be easy. But here we are. And where do you want it to go? Yeah, I wanted to uh, to to uh, reach like I don't know for myself uh, the next level. Not like uh, no, maybe the combination of club tracks because I'm a DJ. I love it. I want to play my tracks in the club. I want to listen to them, and but also on the other side that you can listen to it in, in the car or at home. So to have these little sounds which make the maybe the difference. Tell me um, about how did you start in the music industry and how happened? I, I, I started uh, doing music quite quite uh, young. So I've been a DJ since I was 14, 15 years old. Um, that was in the mid 80s, okay. and um, yeah, and uh, becoming part of the music industry was already when uh, techno started early 80s with, with a project called Humate. Uh, Love Simulation was, was our second single and uh, at that time a big um, hit. And uh, yeah, then soon in 1995 I, I founded my first label, Confused Recordings. Yeah, and from there... Um, Did you I, start it that was all actually the year where I said I want this to be my profession. So before it was like I, I was also a journalist. I, uh, I, yeah, you were a journalist too. I, yeah, I, I was uh, for a couple of years writing about music and uh, and um, some some things around it. And um, then also I was in the navy yeah, when I was very I was young. Yeah, I so about that. You were my, running the navy. Yes. How I, 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 directly after school. So and, I mean uh, I, I got the opportunity to make an. Um, um, apprenticeship as an electronics engineer and uh, so I did this. I was there for a couple of years, got a good apprenticeship but this was not my cup of tea. I always was like yeah. uh, doing my music okay. on the side and I took also my turntables on my, my first equipment like 303, 909, 808, so the drum machines, bass lines in the barracks and made music at the weekend. 